Michael here with another massive week in LEGO news. New Star Wars dioramas found early. Plus brickheads in the Jedi Temple. Pick a brick switching to cardboard boxes. Amazing new gifts with purchase. And what's going on with this majestic horse? And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over Target, today's the last day for buy one, get one 40% off select LEGO sets. But starting tomorrow, you can get a free $10 gift card when you spend $50 on select LEGO sets at Target. Next over at Amazon, they're matching that Target offer where you can buy two and save 40% on one set. The LEGO Critter 3-in-1 Viking ship is 18% off. Plus they've got the LEGO Marvel Iron Man Armory for 30% off and the LEGO Avatar Floating Mountain Site 26 for 20% off. Next over at Costco, they've got the LEGO Optimus Prime for 15% off. And over at Kohl's, they've got a bunch of sets 20% off, including some of the newest sets from Marvel, Avatar, and LEGO Super Mario. Over at LEGO, they've got the Black Panther bus for a whopping 40% off. Plus you can get the second LEGO Houses of the World set free with your purchase over 250 the Lego Spring Fun VIP add-on pack with purchases over $50, and the Lego Easter Basket with purchases over $70, which is perfect since the Indiana Jones, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Disney 100 sets are now all available. So if you want to pick up any of these deals and more and support the channel, there's links to everything in the description below. Next up, thanks to Promo Bricks, we got our first look at the upcoming Star Wars dioramas, which were found early in store. And even in the days after, MR Productions has actually reviewed both sets. The first set is the Emperor's Throne Room with 807 pieces, retailing for $100. This scene, of course, depicts the Emperor's throne room from the Death Star and the main face-off between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. At the bottom of the base are printed tiles for the 40th anniversary and of course that famous Luke Skywalker quote. I'm a Jedi like my father before me. The overall design for the throne room turned out really nicely, especially the unique angles that were captured to create the window at the back. And at the very center, a complex build for the throne itself. This set comes with Darth Vader and an updated version of Emperor Palpatine. But of course the standout for most is this new Luke Skywalker figure with a brand new hairpiece, which looks pretty accurate. The other diorama is the Endor Speeder Chase with 608 pieces, retailing for $80. This scene of course takes place on the forest planet of Endor, and we can see some nice new builds for the speeder bikes hovering above the detailed forest floor. Again at the base we've got some great printed tiles with the quote, Quick, jam their conlet, set a switch! And I think the designers did a nice job capturing the rounded tree trunks and all the details of the foliage. Included we've got a scout trooper as well as Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia in those Endor outfits. Speaking of Endor, we also got the reveal of the Lego Brickheads Battle of Endor Heroes with 549 pieces, retailing for $40, which is the first Star Wars set to include five different brickheads. First, we have Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, and Lando Calrissian, and I especially like the way that R2-D2 turned out with that print at the front and all the details on Lando's uniform. We also have Wicket the Ewok, who looks really adorable, and Princess Leia in her Endor outfit, which turned out really nicely, and I'll definitely be picking these up. Next, from the Young Jedi Adventures TV show, we're also getting the Tanu Jedi Temple with 124 pieces, retailing for $40. This set is a 4 plus set, as the show is designed for a young audience, but the Jedi Temple does have some nice details with all those prints. And flipping around from the back, there's a small kitchen and a bunk bed area. Also included is a balance test and this training droid. Plus there's a red speeder bike that can hold all three minifigures. The three minifigures are all currently exclusive to this set. First up, we've got Master Yoda with a new head mold, which looks really nice, and it's a younger version of the character. Next, we've got Lee Soleil with some great details on the face and that awesome new hair mold. And finally, we've got Kai Brightstar again with a brand new hairpiece. Next up today, April 1st, First, LEGO revealed a brand new 18 plus style set, the Majestic Horse. And the build for the horse looks really nice with all those slopes for shaping, and it sits on top of this nice display base. Currently a prototype set, LEGO sent this out to a handful of content creators. And while the build for the horse started out looking nice and as expected, upon finishing the build, they soon realized it was an April Fool's prank, as the final build is full of silly details, like red sneakers and the Doge meme head. So sadly, the Majestic Horse set will not be on your your Lego store shelves anytime soon. And this April Fool's release was only limited to nine content creators. But at least there were a few laughs along the way as Lego also sent these content creators a bunch of funny memes. Happy April Fool's Day, I guess. Next up, thanks to Stone Wars, we found out that Lego's getting rid of their plastic containers in stores for cardboard options. They're currently piloting this at the Mall of Berlin Lego store, where at the pick-a-brick wall there, you'll see displays for a pick-a-brick box where you assemble it yourself and fill it up as usual. But all I can think about is that there's actually masonry brick on the wall. Just as before, there is a large and small pick-a-brick option. And once you fill up your pick-a-brick box, they tape it shut with that lock sticker. As I can tell, the best part about this is that it's now a rectangular shape, which will especially help with larger pieces. And in Stone Wars' comparison, it definitely seems that the box may be a better option. Similar to the pick-a-brick wall, the build a minifigure station is also getting an update where there's these smaller boxes where you can put all of your minifigure parts inside. As mentioned before, this is currently a pilot program and there's no 
official word as to when these cardboard options will expand to other stores. But on the whole, I'm pretty excited about the change. And if you want an excuse to go to your Lego store on the 5th and 6th at select stores, they're doing this free Easter Bunny make and take event. And I'll never say no to free Lego. And speaking of free Lego, this week we got the reveal of lots of fun gift with purchase sets. So let's break them all down. First, we've got Houses of the World 2 with 270 pieces, and it's the second in the line of the Houses of the World series. The build itself has some really nice, unique architectural details inspired by North Africa. There's some foliage on the side, some nice details around the door, and lots of sticker elements to add more detail. Just as with the first set, there are two stories that can be separated, with the first floor featuring a table and chairs and a small piano, and the second floor featuring a couch, bed, and nightstand. And while the build looks nice, having to spend $250 is a bit much for me. Next, also available now is the Spring VIP add-on pack, which gives you lots of different pieces and accessories to enhance your existing builds. Included there are bees, ladybugs, bikes, and bunnies, lots of minifigure accessories, fences, foliage, and a calf, and even a wheelbarrow and watering can. And with a $50 threshold, I'm hoping to get more than one of these. Next up, we've got the flower pot with 292 pieces, which is a perfect addition to the botanical collection. The build looks great, and I always love the parts usage on these sets, especially where the vase is built out of those hot air balloon pieces we first saw in the Trolls line. The flower arrangement features lots of interesting flowers like billy buttons and cherry blossoms and great colors. This promo is said to run from the 14th through the 24th with purchases over $150 and I really want to get this one. Next up we've got the pirate ship playground with 168 pieces and this one might be my favorite. The build features a studs out pirate ship design which looks really nice not to mention lots of great scenery like the palm tree as well as this rotating octopus fountain. You can place a minifigure in the crow's nest or slide them down the slide at the center and on the back there's a ladder for the slide and a climbing wall. Not to mention the set comes with two pirate kid minifigures. As there's no details yet for this promotion, I'm guessing it might even be a Lego VIP reward that you can buy with your VIP points. But either way, I'm definitely going to try to pick this up. Next up in Lego Ideas news, there was a whopping seven projects that hit 10,000 supporters on the platform this week. So let's break everything down. First up, we've got Wednesday Welcome to Ophelia Hall. Straight out of the popular Netflix series, here we've got Wednesday's dorm room with her and Enid. The details in the room really capture the look from the show and all of the great architectural details bring Nevermore Academy to life. And I know a lot of people would love to see this one. Next up, we've got Parks and Recreation. Straight out of the TV show, the build depicts the bullpen and offices of the Pawnee Parks Department. And the designer did an excellent job not only bringing this space to life, but also packing it full of interesting builds and amazing Easter eggs if you're a fan of the show. I personally would love to see this get made, but I'm curious if the office set helps or hurts its chances. Next up, we've got Gilmore Girls. Again, based on the TV show, this depicts Lorelai and Rory's house. This modular style house is packed with interior details and rooms, and I love the way it opens up. But as this is the second time this project has hit 10,000 supporters, I'm curious if it'll have a better chance in the review. Next up, we've got Stardew Valley Farmhouse. Straight out of the classic farming sim, the build here is simple but really effective. And there's also some nice interior builds. The game has sold over 20 million copies since March 2022, so I'm curious about its chances. Next up, we've got Cool Runnings to make a bobsleigh team. The build pays homage to the movie Cool Runnings, which came out in 1993. I think the designer did a really nice job bringing the course to life and setting it on this unique display stand at that angle. And it's been a long time since we've gotten sets based on winter sports. Next up, we've got the Harthian ship from Outer Wilds. This vehicle comes straight out of the 2019 action-adventure game. The overall design for this craft is super unique and it would make an interesting display model. Not to mention, I like how the designer also has these removable sections so you can play inside. Finally, we've got the antique cabinet. The design is super ornate with lots of great detail, not to mention all of the fun little elements that are packed inside. On the whole, I think this would make a really interesting display piece, but it's also a unique scale, so I'm curious if that would affect its chances, but as always, we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, another fun week in LEGO news with even more sets to look forward to this year. I personally can't wait to pick up those new Star Wars dioramas as they look really great, though they are a bit expensive. Not to mention the brick heads, gifts with purchase, and everything else that's coming. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me. As a heads up, I'll be traveling next week, so it's unclear if there's going to be a video or not, but don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on my next video. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations! And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win.
and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Click here to watch last week's video with the $450 Batcave, Lego 2K Drive, Marvel Exclusives, Chronicles of Narnia, Ninjago Season 16, and so much more. And don't forget to subscribe.